guys, it's me Noelle. Thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my art studio. I just wanted to, to do a video to share how the art challenge went for me this week. I did a snowflake challenge where I was painting seven paintings um, in a seven day period, um, one a day, and that includes snowflakes. So I created this challenge and I um, was inviting anyone that wanted to join along with me and a couple pe people did, I believe. Um, yeah, it went really good. Before starting, I was a little bit like overwhelmed by all the ideas I can come up with or just getting overwhelmed by how I can create cohesion in the body of work. So I wanted there to be variety and for it to be fun and just utilize the opportunity to create paintings that I could bring to art markets and um, just get out of my like a little bit of a creative rut. So what I ultimately did was I grabbed all the canvases I had that were fairly small and I set them up in a good uh, composition. So some that were horizontal, some that were vertical, and I went ahead and painted from there. I thought that would be good to like have all the paintings together look good at the end. One way I made them all cohesive was using the same color palette. So for this one, I did a very basic colors. I used cadmium red, I used ultramarine blue, titanium white, and ivory black. So a very simple, and I think I also, for the skin tones, I also needed lots of other various colors. But overall, um, I'm happy with how the cohesion of the colors went together. And I think they're gonna look really nice on the wall together. It was really fun to share each day and also create TikToks to go along with them. And I think the most challenging part was there were some days that I really didn't feel like painting that day. And so um, having this challenge and, and being able to share it on social media, I felt like there was accountability. So I wanted to follow through and um, go ahead and do it even when I didn't feel like it. I found that the hardest part was actually getting set up for the painting, but once I actually started, it um, generally was super fun. There was only one um, of the paintings that was like hardest of them all, which was day six. I had started this painting and um, it just like looked super juvenile and I wasn't happy. So I actually scratched it and just decided to go easy on myself and do something that was fairly simple for me. I think the most fun painting was making this one because I just, I was really proud of myself for making this painting so quickly and having a person in it and also gathering the photo reference. My favorite part is just like how the pink shines on the background right here. I'm actually also going to add another little aspect um, once it's dry. And actually most of the paintings are basically done, but I think I will go back and add just a few little touches to finish them off and also varnishing them. But yeah, I'm just so thankful for all of you who decided to follow along um, on my Instagram or Facebook um, or TikTok um, on this journey. And it's been really fun to share and push myself to do this. And I encourage you all to, if you're a creative person or something you're interested in doing, just give yourself challenges and do them. And um, I think you'll be surprised at what you're capable of and what you can create because this was just super exciting because it's just like so magical to have like new artwork that you make and to be able to come in and look at it and to create so many so quickly. But yeah, I'm definitely, I, I feel like I'm good to go and I'm ready to take a break and tomorrow's my rest day. And so I'm definitely gonna just enjoy resting and this was really fun, but I'm also wanting to just take a step back and get um, re-gear re myself a little bit. Also, I thought I'd mention all of these paintings are for sale. I'm going to be putting them on my Etsy shop, so if any of them caught your eye, um, feel free to inquire and I would love to uh, talk details with you. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this and think you may enjoy future videos similar to this one, um, I create a variety of videos on my art channel. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and drop a comment if you have any questions um, or maybe you have a suggestion for future challenges that I could do. Um, and again, everyone's always welcome to join in the challenges with me, so I want this to be fun for everybody. And yeah, so thank you for watching this little video. I hope you all have a great day and be sure to keep being creative. Bye.